Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the tutorial for the battery animation that I made yesterday. So first of all, go into the shapes and take a rectangle. Make sure the rectangle is big enough to show the top layer of the battery and then you can increase or decrease the size depending upon your requirement. Now I'm just copied one more shape and then I reduce the size from both the sides so that it can show the lower part of the battery. Once we are done with this one, we can change the color and adjust the size so that we know that where our battery should start and where it should finish. So now I'm just going to change and remove the outlines and change a fill to the shape. Now this is the sample color which I wanted to use yesterday so I just picked it from my another slide. Now what we can do is uh, I'm just going to put this one as a reference because I'm going to use this color as a dark tone for the inside of the battery. Now let's go to the shapes again and now let's make the top part which is the terminals of the battery. So I'm using two shapes one is the rounded rectangle and just using these ones on the both sides and these can show the terminals of the battery. So once you are done with this one you can increase or decrease the size depending upon your requirement or the size of the battery that you want. Now I'm just going to copy this part and going to drag it down. Just simply control shift and just drag it down and you can copy another shape. Now drag it down to increase the length and height of the rectangle and after that you can make another adjustments which is copy this shape again reduce its size and then bring it down to the bottom so now i'm copying the white shape that i made at the top part and then copying them again and making the base of the battery which i will give a different color let's say a dark brown or dark gray color after i'm done with this one i'm going to work on the inside of the battery so this is actually the base of the battery which shows that this is the battery space and the top part so now I'm going to use that shape again. I will show you how I added the color. Just go to simply shape format and go to the shadows and then you can simply put a shadow inside of the battery. Now you can see that I'm putting a shadow inside of the battery and you can use any shadow type that you want. You can either put on the one side or on another side. Now as you can see that this gives the perspective that the battery is the, we are looking at the inside of the battery now. Now once you're done with this one, copy the slide and paste it again and then we are going to work on the second slide. Now working on the second slide, I want to show some cells and some batteries. So for that, I'm just going to use the same shape, reduce its size and make its corner a little bit more sharp from by selecting from the corners. Now let's just adjust this shape. So put one in the start and put one in the end and then go in the align section and then align them horizontally. It will evenly distribute along the surface. Now I'm just going to copy this shape and give them a different color. Now I'm going to use this slide as a separate slide because I'm going to show them as an animation and instead of using animation I'm just going to use transitions to make these animations look more realistic. Now I'm adding a preset and I'm giving a B level shadow effect which will show them look like a little bit more thick and a little bit more darker. And once you are done with this one you can change the color and bring the second plate in the front. Now select the plates and move them towards the inside of the battery. Now copy them again and keep on pasting and make sure that you paste each uh, two plates in each cell of the battery. This is just an example just to show a sample animation. You can make different kinds of battery depending upon your own category or type. So now let's just copy this slide again and now this time select all the materials in this slide and drag them down a little bit. Remember that everything that is outside the slide will not be considered in the slide. So that's why I'm using this kind of uh, technique or this kind of tip. Now I'm going to go and find a beaker. Beaker just to show that some of the electrolyte is going inside the battery that I'm putting some electrolyte inside the battery. So one electro beaker I'm going to use it for water and another beaker I'm going to show that I'm using sulfuric acid inside. So now you can give them a different color. You can use blue color for this one and red color for sulfuric acid respectively. Now let's go and add small shapes which will show that the liquid is coming down inside the battery and then it shows that the liquid is coming out from the beaker to the batteries. So now just copy one shape and then copy this another shape, reduce its size a little bit more and copy another shape and just make it sure that they are equal and they are space, uh, evenly spaced, spaced from each other. Now let's just change this color and once you are done with this one, you can see that everything is smooth. Now let's work on the line animation. Now as you can see when I add a line animation, this object is appearing on the front. So you can just send it to the back and then it will appear that it is going inside the battery. Similarly, now you can see in the animation pane that the line animation is appearing and you can see that it's going back. Now add the same animation to the other parts. Use animation painter and select for the other parts. Similarly do for the third one. 
They are still in the front, so select them and send them to the back. Now select all and send to the back which will make them go to the back of the battery. Now you can see that they are evenly distributed and they are going to back to the battery one by one in a timeline. You can add small delays in the timeline so that they appear at different uh, position, different timings but they appear at the same time. Now let's work on the other parts. Now I'm just going to copy these ones and I'm going to paste on the other side because the animation is same. I'm just going to change the color for these ones. So once as you can see now when I will play the animation from a certain point they will appear and look something like this. Now the red circles are still on the front so I'm going to send them back and see how they look. So now you can see that they are at the back side and they look differently. Now what I did is I replaced one blue and one red, one blue and one red. So you see when I click here, you can see a title and you can see a highlight in the animation pane. So I'm doing it that I'm going to make them repeat after the previous. So now you can see whenever I click a circle, you can see a highlight in the animation pane. So this shows the position and this shows the position of the object in the slide. So animation pane helps you know that where is this position. So now I'm just selecting them all and making them repeat until the end of the slide so that they keep on repeating until the slide is changed. Now the time has come when we are going to work on another main part of the slide and of the presentation. So now what we are going to do is we are going to work on a different thing which is how to animate a moving liquid inside the battery. So this is very easy so I'm just going to show you that how you can do it. Just take the shape from the shape menu and then select and copy them and then paste them again and create a series so that they make an extend, extended length of an object. Now you can see that these are a kind of a replicate of a, a swirls or of a waves in the, in the water. So what you can do is you can just merge them and you can change this outline and simply add another block of a shape into the bottom to show that these are one single diagram. So what I'm doing is I'm just making them even and together so that they make and look like they are a wave. Now I did a merge shape and combine them so that they can be one uh, simple object instead of so many objects. Now, I'm going to copy these ones again and copy them on the left and the right hand side to make an extended version so that when they move in a line motion they look like and they as one single object. So now I'm going to select them all again merge shapes and combine Now this is one shape. Now go to the animation pane and add line animation but this time from the right side. Now notice one thing, when I play in the animation, the extra part outside the slide is not be appearing in the slide. So now I just copy the same shape and rotate it and I'm going to give it a different color so that they will look like a kind of a wave and they will have a different, uh, different perspective for the wave. So now you can see that there are two different layers. Let's say that one layer is considered to be as water and another layer is considered as sulfuric acid. So now you see that they have two different layers and have a different and same path in the motion right now. So I've changed the path, one will go from the left and one will go from the right. Now you can see that these are harmonized. I'm just going to rotate so that they look like a same level. So when they rotate and they will look like one is going to the left hand side and another one is going to the right hand side. Let's just reduce the transparency a little bit and add another uh, shape here so that we can see and look, make it look more beautiful and more, uh, more like uh, something that can cover the whole space of the slide. So now this part is done. Uh, I just made another separate slide so that I can work more freely and more uh, have a more space to work. Now once it's done I'm going to uh, move this shape uh, to the, uh, the front and in order to cover the extra space I will show you how I do it. So now once you play here you can see that all the extra slides, sides uh, on the extra space on the sides is removed. So for the rest of the side I'm going to cover them by using a small shapes using a rectangle. So I'm just going to place small rectangles in the front of it. Now you can see that it only looks like that this is the battery and the remaining part is redundant and it's not being considered when you are playing an animation. So this is how you make a small animation for the battery and how you make the water slide inside the battery and make it look like it's an electrolyte. So now you can see that it's moving and moving. So now what we are going to do. Go to the effect options and we are going to make them repeat until the end of the slide. You can also reduce the speed if you want to and it all depends on us. So we are just going to make them appear in the front so that they will look like they are uh, more dominant and this is what we are focusing on. Now let's just copy the same battery again and we are going to reduce them down. And then I am added an arc, I am going to increase its width and will give them the same color as the battery to make sure that they look like the same part just to keep the aesthetic same. So now I'm going to add small text boxes which is positive terminal and the negative terminal just to show and just to highlight something. 
You can also add add a narration at the behind of this uh, animated video. It all depends on you how you want your animation to look like. But this time I'm just going to write down simple text and I'm just going to add a simple small music behind it just to show an animation work. You can also use them without a music in the background just to keep it more professional and just to keep it more simple for business meetings or for uh, research project meetings. So now let's work on this part again and now for this time I'm going to show that the electrodes are these are the major electrodes two electrodes inside the battery so for that i'm going to uh, remove the boundary for this one i'm going to give them a simple color which is no shade and no shadow i'm going to give them a solid color one is golden another one is the blue one then simply by clicking inside i can write any text i want and then i can make them subscript uh, the small text i wanted to make a subscript and then i'm going to increase its size now what i did is i'm going to add the same text inside this one and make sure that the size are consistent on both the sides the right hand side and the left hand side now the other part which i'm going to work is that i'm going to show that the water molecules and the hydrogen molecules and the sulfate uh, ions are moving from one part to another so that means Hydrogen is going toward the lead oxide and the sulfate ions are moving towards the lead. So now I'm using a simple line animation. So this time I'm going to use it from the left. But see, these animations are appearing on the top. So I'm just going to reduce its length so that it only appears till the PBO2 and it goes beyond. So how I did it? Now I will show you an example. So once I make this uh, animation, you can see that uh, this animation appears in the front. So how to avoid that thing? We can simply avoid that thing by bringing the PBO2 shape to the front. Now you can see that I'm just adjusting their position first. So after that, when I'm going to work on that, I'm going to make them appear one after another. So first comes first, then the second, and then the third. Now you can see that the hydrogen plus ions are appearing on the top. How can we avoid that? We can avoid that by just simply placing the PBO2 shape to the front. Now I'm adding small delays and you can see that they're working perfectly fine. So now I'm just going to copy these same shapes and then I'm going to make them move towards the left. And simply by that I'm going to change the shape. I'm going to change the name which is SO4 negative and then I'm going to make them just do the same thing which I did on the left hand side. Now the animation for SO4 is also done and everything is done the same way as it, I, I did for the hydrogen. Now, I'm going to copy the same slide again and in this case I'm just going to change the text. So that means the water is going away from PBO2 this time. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the names first and then after that I'm going to select all of them and then go to animation Spain and effect options from the left hand side. So. After that I'm going to make and place them inside and instead of adjusting their shapes I'm just going to reduce the size so that they can just be hidden inside beside underneath the PBO2 shape. So now once we are done with this one I'm just going to adjust the length they are going to appear. So I'm just by clicking the shape and just clicking on the arrow you can reduce where it will end or where it will start. So now you can see that I have done for the water. Similarly I'm going to repeat the same step for the other side. So now I have already changed the name, reduced its size a little bit and also added a line animation from the left hand side and now just I am going to make the PB sh shape to the front so that it can appear on the top and it will rather give an image that PBSO4 is going towards the PB and going inside the electrodes. So this is how I want to show and this is how I want it to look like. So now this part is done, let's repeat it until the end of the slide and this is how it will look like. Now. Most of the animation is done. The last part in which we are going to work on is that I'm going to just copy this from the other shape. So these are just simple shapes which I use the rectangle and then I use some icons from the icon set which you can find in the link in the description. And similarly for this case in the other side which I made a small error connections which is simply the rectangle shapes. I just connected these rectangle shapes and rotated and then connected them together. And for these I am using wipe animation. So for the first time for the first one I use the wipe animation from the top. For the second one I use the wipe animation from the left and then the third one from the bottom and then the fourth and then the fifth depending upon the direction of their motion. So now once we are done with this one I just added a small animation which you can see that wipe animation from left, wipe animation from top and the bottom. And the last part which was in which I showed some electrons which you can see in this video in this slide which is like this one. So now you can see that all the things are same. I just added additional text so that they can be more prominent. And then what I did is I added a small shape and in that shape I added small electrons and I just increased the border of the uh, shape. 
Now I, did, I wrote down E inside and then I in selected all the text and I increased all the, uh, the total font of the length. Now you can see that this is how I made these blocks. And then in the same way which I did the line animation on the water and the PB in the previous slides, I did the animation on this one also. But instead, this one when they will follow the path of the motion. So for example, if it's coming from the top, then it will have a bottom top to down animation, line animation. And similarly, uh, like as you can see in this one, like when I select this one, the animation is from the down. And for this one, animation is again from the down. This is because I rotated the animation of the objects. So now you can see that you can simply use top to bottom, left to right, right to left and uh, bottom to top animation to make this to show how they work. Now you can see that the objects are moving like this in a simple and synchronized manner. But as you can see that the shape is not being appear. So what I did is I made the shape to appear after the circle or the cycle of the electrons is completed. So what do I mean? I'm just going to repeat this step again for you guys so that you can understand easily. So for that, I'm going to delete all the shapes and I'm going to uh, animation and I'm going to show you how will it actually work. So now just uh, consider this example. Now, as you can see that you can see this shape, but we don't want them to appear before the animation is finished for the electrons. Rather, we want them to start when once the one path of the electron is completed. So what we can do for that, we can do something like that. We want them to disappear and we want them to appear after the electron comes. Electron finishes one cycle. So now if you have to add two animation or single object, remember you also always have to do add animation. So now I added one more animation, which is the pulse animation and it will make it appear like it's blinking. And similarly, now I want to add animation on this one. So firstly, I'm going to add on appear. And then, in order to add a second animation, I have to add add animation to make them appear and have two animations. So now, so that's all how you make an animation. So let's just review this animation one more time so that we can know how we can and how we can uh, animate the batteries process. This is just a mere simple example, just a small example to show that how you can use simple tool in PowerPoint to animate complex diagrams also. So this is just a mere small example. You can make it complex, you can make it more detailed depending upon your own requirements and the process. And for example, this one is the lead acid battery which is the oldest one. You can find the up to date models, you can find the latest models which you are using for your own process and for your own presentations and research work. So that's how you do it. As you can see there, I just use simple shapes, simple objects, simple animation, the line animation, the wipe animation, nothing else to make a, a small process explained in simple and easy animation and simple and easy objects. You don't have to do much. You don't have to uh, spend so much time on this. You can make it easily just by using simple tools. I hope you guys like this video and if you haven't watched my previous videos on animation, you can find more useful tips on those videos also. So if you haven't watched this, do watch them and till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.